Just because I'm out of town does not mean I can't make videos. Today we're going to talk about Squid Games. You like the quaint background? It's nice. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. I woke up super early this morning to binge Squid Games, and it was actually a lot easier than I anticipated because it's such a fun series. We're going to talk about it today. No spoilers in this video. If you want a spoiler-heavy review, there's a lot to talk about. But let's get into it. So 456 desperate contestants compete with each other in a mysterious and deadly survival game involving multiple rounds of childhood games in order to win 45.6 billion won in prize money that can help pull them out of their misery. We got some really great Korean series last year, so I was just excited about the prospect of this show, what it was going to bring to the table visually, but the story, just from that trailer alone, I said, okay, this is going to be interesting. Is it more like The Hunger Games? Are we going extremely violent and over the top with it? And talking about that visual style that I also noticed in the trailers, that is in full effect here. From the set pieces to the backgrounds to the design, it has to be one of the most colorful shows or really anything. I have seen all your movies and television but the production design, just getting into the locations that these characters are competing in these deadly and violent games. And of course, the stakes are high because of their personal backgrounds. But just from an entertainment standpoint, it seems like there's one collection of scenes or series of moments in every episode. Even if the episode uh, is more calm and subdued than maybe what you expect from this show, we always somehow end up with various characters, not just one character, right? You think in the first episode, oh, here's the main guy, here's who we're sticking with, but no, they go kind of from storyline to storyline, and this is much more of an ensemble than anticipated, uh, but we always get that, wow, pure jaw-dropping for some entertainment, for some it may be a bit too much, but there's always something in every episode that's going to have you shocked on the edge of your seat, uh, just feeling that intensity that comes with the stakes that are oh so high because all of these people, against their will, <laughs> are coming together to compete in these games, but they're not just any game, right? They're games that everyone involved, they're saying to themselves, didn't I play these as a child? Except this time, they come with a murderous spin. And that's what I found to be not only entertaining, but consequential, right? The consequences uh, of failing these games is death. But also, there's a lot at stake for everyone here because everyone involved is there for a reason. Because something has happened in their lives that has put them in this situation, whether it be a bad decision or something that they can't necessarily control. And we get a little bit of both from various characters that we follow throughout this show, right? You have your characters that you care about, the ones that you're really rooting for. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it does not. You have your gray characters, right? The ones that you don't know necessarily what to think about them at first. And there are a couple of those that we follow around. Uh, most of the time, I would end up resonating. There were a couple that may have made a decision or two, something to get under my skin, but of course, those are the intentions of a show like this. And then the ones that are just straight up bad people that are, you know, tripping each other trying to win the game, and you get the other person killed, and I'm just like, all right, somebody needs to... But one thing I love about the show is, and we often get this in a series to where you're competing, but what you're competing for is not only a lot of money, but you're competing for survival. So this is going to test the human willpower and the nature of what they do to each other or what they're willing to do to each other is definitely exposed in this series. Even the ones that you think you have a good read on at the beginning, right? Eventually they'll do something you're like, oh, okay, well, I understand you want to survive, but at the same time, uh, they're definitely exposing a lot. And you always cut back to the people who are doing this. It's very ominous at first. You uh, see one individual who approaches our very first character and uh, he's playing a little game with him at a subway station and you're not entirely sure what he's there for, why he's there, but he knows everything about our character. And then once our character is taken away into these games, that's when the stakes are raised. But even then, you're not, you're not sure who is doing this, why they're doing this, but it looks like it's all happening for their amusement because we always get that shot of them sitting back, propping their feet up on a desk and watching all of this happen. And again, back to the production design, even those moments with the characters that aren't even that integral. They look spectacular. So from a visual standpoint, it works. It's a visceral experience, uh, one that is not afraid to take risks, both from a story perspective and uh, just the look of the show. 
it's constantly taking those risks. And because of that, sometimes it may be a bit much, right? If you're squeamish or you don't like a lot of blood and gore, I mean, the first episode alone, the first game, major game, that everyone is playing, uh, you see it. And... Mm-hmm. Some really bad things are happening to these characters. Shocking things. And this is before everyone even knows why they are there, truly there to start with. And then they learn the rules, and then they learn what they have to do. But we always cut back. Not every episode, but most of the episodes are cutting back, giving someone a backstory or a reason for being there in the first place. Thus, we have our ensemble. Thus, we know who and who not to root for. The show does a great job of that. It is very over the top, and sometimes they're making decisions here, talking about the actual screenwriters that I didn't entirely agree with, motivations, and just making things a bit too on the nose. But one thing that wasn't on the nose, and I actually thought worked really well, is contrasting the gray, dark, outside world that is full of just constant disappointment, right? All of our characters, they're going through something that put them in this situation. But then we get to this vibrant and beautiful, uh, saturated, color-corrected world. Again, the production design. But it's actually full of violence and chaos and trauma. And I think that is both beautiful and haunting at the same time, right? Again, we've seen things like this where people are competing for survival, but the stakes are so high, and I found the characters to be very interesting in this show. So Squid Games, while it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, I just had a great time while watching this. I really did, and shock after shock, and the level of unexpectedness within this script is just all the way there. So before I give you guys my score, thanks for sticking with me. Even out of town, found a nice place to record this video. I appreciate it. If you liked this review and you want me to cover more series in this vein, be sure to drop your thumbs up down below. But this series does not hold back. It is unabashedly violent, chaotic, and visceral. But there is so much fun to be had. Uh, I'm actually going to go in 86%. I just had a great time while watching this, man. This is entertainment in its purest form. But again, if you kind of wince at the sight of violent actions and a story like this that is so over the top is too much for you, it may not be the series that works for you, uh, but it definitely worked for me. I had so much fun. And the premise, the premise alone is really fascinating. So I'm excited to see what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and comment your thoughts. I'll see you soon.